In this video we're going to take a look at uh, editing in Excel and let's start off with just putting in, let's pick some random cell here and we'll put in a little bit of text. By text I mean anything that's not a number. So I'm just going to type in the word name here and I'm going to type in the word address on the next line and whoops I spelled that wrong. Let's try it again. And you see when I type in text that is not a number uh, it's always left aligned in the cell. Now let's go down here, let's type in some numbers and you see the numbers are right aligned. So numbers are always right aligned and uh, text is always left aligned and that's one way that you can tell the difference. Uh, if you ever type in a number and it is left aligned uh, it's possible uh, that you may have formatted it incorrectly. I think there are very few times when you want to have numbers left aligned because uh, you know you want the ones columns to line up and the tens columns to line up and so on. So normally numbers will be right aligned. So if it's left aligned, you may have entered it as text instead of as a number, and we'll uh, take a look at that uh, in a minute here. Uh, you can also enter dates. So let's type in. Actually, I'm not going to put the. Here, let's do one one sixteen January first twenty sixteen. And you notice I typed in the sixteen, but Excel put the twenty in front of it. And Excel will always do that. Uh, by default, it displays years as two-digit or four-digit numbers rather than two-digit numbers. And let's just, I'm going to grab this and fill in a few more dates here. And you notice it just adds one on. It's doing that autofill when you get the fill handle, that little black plus sign, and click and drag. Uh, you can also type in dates by typing in a hyphen, and it'll put the slashes in uh, when it formats it, but you can enter them with hyphens. And uh, it usually puts the number 20 in front of the dates here, but uh, it only does that up to, uh, let's do uh, 2029, and you'll see it put the number 20 in front of that. But if I type in 1 slash 1 slash 30, 30, then it puts 19 in front of that. So everything from 30 up to 99 gets interpreted as a 20th century year and it puts number 19 in front of it. Everything from 0 up to 29 gets interpreted as 21st century and it puts number 20 in front of it. It's been that way since the year 2000. I expect that one of these days they will move that 29 back maybe to 39, but uh, as of right now it's 29 is the cutoff for the 21st century. Um, the earliest date you can put in is 1 slash 1 slash 1900, January 1st, 1900. By the way, when you put dates in, notice the dates are right aligned. That tells you a little something about uh, how they're formatted or how they're stored internally in Excel. They are stored as numbers, and uh, in a video on dates, we'll talk about that. But uh, that's uh, not what we want to talk about right now. We just want to talk about entering data and editing data. Now, if you want to put in a date earlier than that, like the day before, that would be 12 slash 31 slash 1899. Uh, you can enter it, but look what happens. It gets left aligned. Uh, there is no uh, numeric representation for anything before January 1st, 1900. So it's just treated as ordinary text, just like uh, name and address up here. Uh, so if you want it, uh, and it, it doesn't really, the only time this really matters is if you need to do date arithmetic. So if you want to compute the number of days between two dates, if they are um, regular dates in Excel, that means they've been, uh, they represent dates after January 1st, 1900, you can do date arithmetic. So if I subtract, for example, January 8th, 2016 minus January 1st, 2016, I'll get the number 7. If I try to do this in a subtraction, I get an error message because it's text, and it's just like trying to say, well, subtract name from address and tell me what the answer is, and it doesn't make any sense to do that. There is one other data type that you can type in, and um, I'm going to type in the word true here. Watch what happens when I do. I'm typing it in lowercase letters, and it gets converted into uppercase letters, and it also gets centered. Uh, true is called a logical value, and there's obviously one other logical value, and that's false. And if I type that in lowercase letters, it shifts it to uppercase and centers it. And so those are two visual clues that Excel gives you to let you know that these are logical values. They are not text. They are not numbers. They're not dates. They're something completely different. Now, what if you want the word true or the word false entered in a cell and you don't want to cons consider it a logical value? Well, what you do is you type an apostrophe first and then I'm going to do true with a lower uh, case for everything except the letter T. 
and that is the word true it is not the logical value true um, that may seem like kind of a tricky distinction but uh, there is a difference in the way that they're stored internally and uh, most of the time if you're doing true and false you're probably going to want to be using logical values and you won't use apostrophes or quotation marks or anything like that okay now let's talk about editing let's say that I want to edit something the easy way to do it is just click on the cell there's actually two easy ways to do it click on the cell and then go up here and um, just click any place you want to you've got a little one line word processor here I'm using the arrow keys to slide back and forth you can take the cursor the mouse cursor and click and uh, you can use home and end I'm gonna hit the end key here it takes you to the end of the line I'm gonna hit the home key now it takes you back to the beginning of the line and so if I want to put the word home address there instead of just the word address just go type it hit enter and you're good if you want to delete something in a cell just click on the cell and hit the delete key and I'm gonna undo that because I want to bring that back again so it's easy to delete stuff um, you can also just double click so if I double click in a cell I'm editing it in the cell instead of up here on the formula bar and now again I've got a little one line word processor I can use the four the arrow keys to move back and forth here and I can use home and end I just hit the end key and I'm gonna hit the home key it takes me back to the beginning so let's say I wanted to put first name here instead of name just type that in and, and hit enter um, you can also uh, select cells for deletion and there's two ways to delete let's just select uh, these date cells here and I'm gonna hit the delete key on my keyboard which is not the same as the backspace key by the way uh, so I hit delete and everything within those cells disappears now I'm gonna undo that and bring them back and there's another way to do this I'm gonna right click after selecting these cells I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna choose delete and when you do it from the pop-up menu like this something different happens uh, it not only deletes the contents of the cells it actually deletes the cells and so anything below can move up or you know you can have um, things move left from over here it just depends on uh, how you want to fill this in if you delete these cells so I'm gonna have the cells below shift up and watch what happens when I click on OK uh, everything moves up those cells are not only deleted that not only have the contents deleted but the actual cells get removed from the spreadsheet and you can also do the same thing here uh, I've got these cells still selected because that's the size of the selection I had before and I can right click here and I can choose insert and it'll tell me give me the option of inserting rows or columns or letting me just push things right or pushing them down and I want to push them back down again so I'm going to click on shift cells down and then I'm going to click on OK and now it puts that space back in there and of course when you're editing if you ever make a mistake and you want to undo it uh, you can hit the undo button up here or um, what I think is usually easier you can just do a control Z and control Z is kind of a universal undo command it works in lots of applications so those are the basics of editing cells in Excel 2016